a war began. Every angel was forced to choose the holiness of heaven or the chaos that roiled outside. One angel refused, believing the only thing worth fighting for was a force we now call love. People ask me all the time why I write about angels, and the truth is I, I write about love. I was inspired by a line that talks about a group of angels who looked down from heaven, saw mortal women, and thought that they were beautiful. He rejected both sides of the war, God and Lucifer alike, all in his pursuit of human love. They placed something above God, and they paid the price for it. Kiss him and you will die. I tried so hard to push you away, but I can't. Love that has cosmic consequences is something that has always reached me very deeply. And for me, it's always most important to keep Luce and Daniel close to my heart and let them guide the story. I chose love. Don't listen to him, Luce. If you kiss him, you will die. It's a deep faith in love that I think we should all aspire toward. No. No! I feel really lucky that Lauren was a part of the process in giving her blessing. And when she came to set and she saw everything for the first time, she had such an emotional response to it, and that was so cool to watch. What a wonderful experience, really, to sort of having sat down with a you know, blank sheet of paper or an empty screen and a cursor one day to come to this point where you see things actually brought to life in front of your eyes. Wait. What? What do you want? Nothing, I just thought maybe we could walk together. She's watching this book that she created unfold and, and walking through the gates a few days ago with her. It's, you know, she's kept saying it's like a dream. It feels like a dream come true. It's surpassing all my expectations. It will always be you, Liz. Forever. Seeing the actors portray the characters feel so faithful to who they are. I'm scared somebody's gonna get hurt. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm not. It was so cool to see how excited she was about what we were doing. I can't imagine what that is like for a writer to have their story being brought to life with such like magnitude and so far away from you and then going to set and meeting all these characters you wrote. It was a little nerve wracking in a sense. I didn't want to meet her and her to be like, nope, you're not it. But she's whip smart and charming and I feel really connected to her in a way it's because I felt that character come alive in me in a way that I become very attached to. I love you. I didn't know it from the first moment I saw you. It's a remarkable experience to be here. I prepared myself as much as I could and I was still completely unprepared for what it would feel like to see this world brought to life. <laughs>